guys welcome back and if you're new here welcome as well so i have realized that the last time i did a scream video was you know all the way back in october for the month of halloween so i was like it's definitely time to do the next one so we are up to screen three i'm very excited i'm in the mood so i was like let's do this um so i'm gonna remember even less of three than i did two i had admitted it you know in the very first one that i had seen the first couple um but this one i've only seen once in my life and that was a long time ago like i don't even know any of like the celebrities that are going to be in it or you know like the special cameos because there was definitely a lot in the second one um i was trying to remember what i could remember <laughs> Um, and I think this is where they're filming like the sequel to Stab and the only thing that I can remotely remember is I think she gets attacked when she's like in a stage house um, but other than that that's all I remember I don't remember who the killer is I don't even know if I'm gonna recognize them when as I'm watching them I could figure out at least like one of them in the second one but this one I don't know so maybe once like you know I start seeing people I'll be like oh okay maybe stuff will come to me and as it as they do I will definitely be honest but like I said I'm definitely excited I know on um, the next screams already like in the works you know for the next one apparently Nev Campbell is in fact coming back after you know she didn't and then yeah <laughs> but anyways okay so I'm trying to get caught up as fast as I can so okay here we go oh god oh thank god god's back <laughs> I wasn't sure if he was going to be in this or not nationally syndicated talk show to do a cameo in some cheap slasher flick I'm why can't these guys write me a fucking decent part <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh, he was seriously like my favorite person in the last one who are you calling what? I'm sorry, I have the wrong number. That's okay. Uh, wait, wait a minute. I, I know your voice. You sound a lot like that guy on TV. You're like, nope. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, cotton weary. I do, huh? He can't help himself. Yeah. No, come on. Don't kill him. You can't kill him in this one. I swear to God. I will shut this movie off right fucking now if he dies. I think I have a girlfriend. I know you do. I do. I'm right outside her bathroom door. How do you switch it to the female? Unless it is a female. Oh, the guy's the love of Gossip Girl! <laughs> Come on, Christine! Just pull your inner, you know, Dom Toretto skills. <laughs> oh, look at him! Actually, somebody's smart that's actually like calling 911 when you can't get a hold of them. That's why Cotton's number one. Nobody's gonna be there. Cotton, is that you? Is that typical cotton? <laughs> Let's start there, woman. You know I don't like your stab games. Oh, okay, so he has done it before. What a douche. Cotton! <laughs> Christine? On you alright? I'm home! Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. No, it's like recording. He's not there yet. He's not there! Wow, they're like really up in with the, the voice shit. Oh god. What are you doing? What? what the fuck are you doing? I, don't, I was just, you know, trying to take the game to the next level. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, open the door. I, okay, if that actually was him, I'd punch him in the face. Oh no, is he gonna get framed? Just, just. Christine? Just go. Just, oh god, he probably left. The Come real, on. the. Oh no, oh no. I feel like she's still alive and then she's gonna think it's him. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Or she's gonna, she's gonna end up killing him because she thinks... Oh god, I don't know. This could go one of so many ways. Is that you, babe? Chris, if you're in there, open the door, Damn okay, it. honey? Shit. Please don't kill him. I'm gonna be so mad. <gasps> oh! ah! What are you doing? Stay back! Stay back! Okay, this is a really crazy opening. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. You wanna kill me? <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, poor Cotton can't catch a break either. Him and Sydney. Oh, shit. Christine, get out of the way! Oh, oh my god, Christine! Behind you! Oh. oh, god. Oh, god. No, no, no. Oh, he's so goddamn fucking mad. You lose. I'm gonna be pissed off the rest of this fucking movie, just so we all know. God damn it. <laughs> Got my hopes up for nothing, just to crush it right in the beginning. Oh, yep, yeah, that would be me. Yep, yep. 
California Women's Crisis Counseling. Hey, it's Laura from Monterey reporting to work. Can you patch me in? Sure. Oh, she has a different name now. Well, yeah. <laughs> Break the rules. Oh, every time we see Gail, man, <laughs> each movie, she's got a new hairstyle. Saying that we should be ready to go out and cut each other's throats because that's what you did. <laughs> Metaphorically, yes. Well, tell me, Miss Weathers, was it worth it? Well, sir, what would you have done in her position, dick? I mean, Gail is a bitch, though, so <laughs> sometimes you just, you know, she kind of deserves it every once in a while. Oh, oh, Patrick Dempsey. All right. I'm here because Cotton Weary's been murdered. I promise you, if you share this with the world, it's you I'll be arrested. I swear at my Pulitzer Prize, which I plan to win one day. Of course. This was left in Cotton Weary's body. Do you have any idea who the girl might be? Oh, my God. Oh, is that Sydney's mom? Prescott. This is Sydney Prescott's mother. Where he had only recently finished shooting a camp. You, she needs to stop watching the damn news. <laughs> Always having the news on, girl. Just put SpongeBob on. Mm. Well, damn, we're up to stab three. Hire more security. Hire the National Guard. Just don't kill the movie. Violence in cinema is a big deal right now, Roman. This is not the kind of news this studio's after. So if we stop making scary movies, what, uh, all the psychos in the world will retire? Come on. Yeah. I've been making horror yeah, movies for years never had a psycho problem. That was Jenny McCartney. Carthy. Fuck. Where did I see him? Sure, why not? I am the token black guy. Oh, God. No, Gail, no. <laughs> I do not like that hair. <laughs> I know we've never met. And I, I don't mind you never returning my calls, but I have to tell you, after two films, I feel like I am in your mind. Oh, that's, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The girl from Josie and the Pussycats. Get your hair back to at least that. <laughs> Her bangs are, like, all the way up here. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. After all, Gail Weathers, you're such a complex character. <laughs> oh, and to be played by an actress with such depth and range. Oh, jeez. Oh, Dewey. They broke up, didn't they? Yeah. God damn it. Dewey. Every movie, we're gonna have to have them get back together. Surprise, surprise. Someone dies and Gail comes running. <laughs> oh, God, I, I love Dewey. I really appreciate my character work in this one. <laughs> Someone's helped me understand the real you. Your ruthless ambition, your private self-loathing, <laughs> and that lost and lonely little girl inside. Lost and lonely what? Okay, that's pretty funny. I thought you were supposed to be in Woodsboro. Well, oh, I'm surprised you thought about me at all. Dewey, if you get back together with her, I will punch you in the face. And that story that you did last month on me crashing my car? Wow, was that ever powerful journalism? Oh. Right, uh... No. I especially like the way you implied that it was caused by drinking and drugs and that the tire blowout was faked. That was great. Oh, God, she has not changed whatsoever. Sometimes in journalism, you have to... Are you parked in the lot? Because I should check to make sure that nobody's messed with your brake line. <laughs> God, I hate you, Gail. <laughs> He's playing you? <laughs> Stop talking to her, Dewey, right now. Hey, I am working oh, with the game, Dewey. Rules are rules, Gail. Yes! But really, it was great seeing you. No, stay strong, Dewey. Stay. Oh God, he's already cracking. God damn it. <laughs> oh, her dad's actually around for once. Okay, cool. <laughs> How long till he disappears? None of this would ever happen if she hadn't. If she hadn't. True. True. But how did she know the person she was gonna hook up with was gonna have a psychotic son? It's always a gamble when you do that. I'm worried about you, kid. Out here by yourself, you never see anyone. The only people you talk to don't even know your real name. It's as if you don't exist. That's the idea. Psychos can't kill what they can't find. Oh, oh my heart. Poor Sydney. Her only friends. Her dad and her dog. I feel like Dewey, though. I think she's she still talks to Dewey. I feel like just the way he said it, it like he knows where she is, just obviously Gail doesn't. Okay, she's gotta be dreaming. Her mom's the killer. That's that's what that told me. Oh, jeez. Yep, mom's the killer. Touch Sid dies. Poison. No, you're the poison. You're just like me. Oh. <laughs> yep, mom is doing this to drive her crazy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, 
don't know. Real? She's dreaming? I don't know. Okay. very much Tyson go to hell okay that's dramatic ma'am damn it have you seen Roman look everyone in the office has gone home already <sighs> he said it was important just call him be like hey I showed up don't know where you were so you gotta do <laughs> oh shit grab some super glue right now oh wow yep that's gonna help I'm hanging up right now oh, God. there's a black sure. right there Roman it's not the line. How did the killer know that that's who she... And it's called Sarah gets skewered like a fucking no, that... pig. Still in character. Oh, that's like a speaker. JK. JK. No, just... That was probably the, the black guy. <laughs> <coughs> God damn, they have so many. Oh God, he's in one of them. Mr. Bridger. Oh, God damn. Oh, here is her help. Okay, so it wasn't the black guy, it was the security guard. Oh, there he is! Well, thank God she ran in there, because otherwise you would have been waiting in there for nothing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They're just helping you become a better actress. Oh, God. <laughs> At least she was trying. I'll give her that. Punch and girl. Then now, oh, you tried. I'll give her that. Oh God, Dewey, just. Mm. <laughs> it didn't work, Dewey. We tried. We're different. He used to say that yeah. was our strength. No. Come on, she's too mean. You do know something, don't you? Don't fucking tell her. Off the record. Oh, oh Dewey. Dewey. Two months ago, the Woodsboro police got a call from a woman who said she was with Stab Three. She wanted to see the file on Sid for research. And? The boy said no. A month later, the station gets broken into. The file room gets ransacked. Someone stole Sid's file? I already removed it. Oh, look at Dewey. Oh. Yeah, him and her are still in contact. It's Jennifer. She needs me. Jennifer? Gotta run. Wait, well, look at her. Where are you going? Look at her. Stop following me. I happen to be working for the police, damn it. Cotton wearing, Sarah Darling. Don't you get it? Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. Dewey, who gets killed third? Who gets killed third? <laughs> uh, they're actually... Oh, they're actually killing off Gail. <laughs> yeah, I'd be smoking too. Oh, what the heck? I get killed this <laughs> have three. I get killed? I don't, I don't think the script. You live here with her? Yeah. Oh, my God. I needed a place to stay, and she said she liked having me around. Why? Oh, my God, Gail. She says I'm her rock. <laughs> her rock? Yeah. If you weren't so concerned with pretensions and appearances, you'd be able to appreciate the positivity and emotional centeredness I provide. <laughs> just, just the way he delivered that line. <laughs> Do we? You know, I have... <laughs> You didn't tell us you spoke with Sarah Darling before she was murdered. Uh, spoke with her, uh, when? The guard says she was here for a meeting with you. What meeting? I know we talked to her roommate, too. I don't think he would sabotage his own movie. She wasn't talking with me on the phone. Battery. Mr. Riley, you have a cell phone I could borrow? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my God. I've killed someone, Laura. <laughs> Then the people you need to call are the police. No, I need to call you. Just Maybe, okay, it's a girl. I'm sorry, you're, you're a voice. Don't you want to know how you can- Oh no, because they can change voices. Oh, who is this? It's Mother Laura. Now be a good girl and turn on the news. How can they replicate her mom's voice? Yeah, I've been like, what channel? Staff member murdered. Stab three has been officially shut down, prompting those involved to hope and pray that these killings may be over. Just one question: Do you think it's over, Sydney? Oh God damn! How'd they find her? Oh God, Gail, just stay away. <laughs> Do us all a favor. <laughs> At some point, 
she grows, right? <laughs> I would park soon. I'm in. <laughs> Why do you care, Gail? Why do you care? And I left out the part that she's cruel and selfish, obsessive, and annoying. <laughs> oh. Look, I'm glad he's doing his job. Look at that. I wasn't slinking. I was walking. You were eavesdropping mm -hmm. the bedroom window. Did you know they released Roman? Sarah's call didn't come from his cell phone. Where did it come from then? A cloned cell phone. It's untraceable. Well, thanks for the update, Gail. Patrick Dempsey's phone that died if I couldn't call from that one. 1920? That's what I thought. So I checked it out. I cannot find any information about her at this age. I mean, nothing. Well, she lived in Woodsboro her whole life. Almost her whole life. Patrick Dempsey. Look at the buildings. The second story, there and there. It's the same. It's the same street 28 years ago. Oh my God, Maureen Prescott was at the back line at Sunrise Studios. I was some luck. Stone doesn't work for you. Get back in the house, Stone. Would I call you if it wasn't important? Yeah, aren't you supposed to be with the actual people, dude? I feel like there should be more than one. I mean, come on. Oh! Angry. Wow. Jeez. Impeccable time in there. God damn. Oh. Well, he was just like chilling there, just hoping he was gonna come walking in. Do we? Where is everybody? Yeah. Jennifer, Angelina, Tom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, Dewey's not that bad. If he was truly a bad cop, he would have shot. As you are the Hollywood hanger on her, because uh, you're just no good as a cop anymore. Mm -hmm. Dewey, is he dead? Yeah. Don't panic. Ah! 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 <laughs> Everybody outside! Outside where he can pick us off one by one? I feel like you have a better op- better- if all- f all of you would stay together outside, that's better than being enclosed in one area. Oh, no! no. That's right there. What oh, idiot. Who cares? Who cares? Whoever smells the- This killer has impeccable, like, future, you know, psychic abilities. <laughs> Like, I know somebody's gonna stay because they're just too curious. And then to make sure they can see, instead of stepping outside, they're gonna grab a lighter. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, that was fast. Could have I hit him. Doesn't mean they can't wear bulletproof vests. Maybe they learned. You're right. <sighs> Don't cut. Thanks for saving me. That's heaven. I wish you would say something like, I can't take you seriously with these bangs. I told you, I don't know where Sydney is. And even if there was a third killer, Sydney doesn't know about it. That is for me to decide. I need to talk to her, Mr. Riley. She's a key element <laughs> it's in this case. I have a no, press conference him. in an hour. Second him. I need to explain why there are three dead celebrities. What does this have to do with Sid? Who knows more about Maureen Prescott than her own daughter? Well, Sid's dad couldn't help you, and he was married to Maureen. Yeah, I was like, Sydney doesn't know about her, like, indiscretions. Like, she doesn't know what she was doing, you know, behind her dad's back. Where is she? No, that makes no fucking sense. Sid, it's me. This is the fifth time I've called. Please pick up. Oh, there she is. I want to make sure you're... Uh, okay. Oh, my God. his face. <laughs> Detective Kincaid? Yeah. There's someone here who wants to help. Oh my god, Sydney. Dewey's like, look how fast I was able to get her. <laughs> look at the magic I was able to pull. Sydney, do you have any idea how he could have gotten your number? Well, he could have monitored calls on a scanner. Did you call her from the set? No. Has anyone else ever used your phone? Just Jennifer. No. And you. Yes. Hey, I'm the cop here. Nope. Still think it's you. Or shit, maybe they're setting it up so that it is him. They think it's him, but it's not. Shit. This is my mother, Dewey. Why didn't you say something? I was afraid they were bait. Something to, you know, trick you out of hiding. Sydney, was she an actress or a model? Because they look a lot like publicity stills. Yeah. I don't know. She's like, I don't even know my own mom at this point. I thought I did. 
Dude, ah! Sorry. Oh, Martha. that girl. Hey, right hey, don't I know she was in the Princess Diaries. It's okay. Randy's sister. Randy's sister. Told you I'd make oh. a movie someday. Oh, huh? Randy. Oh my God. Well, if you're watching this tape, it means as I feared, I did not survive these killings here at Windsor College. <laughs> And that giving up my virginity to Aaron Kolchak at the video store was probably not a good idea. Oh! Paul, 15 minutes, I'm leaving my legacy. <laughs> the reason I'm here is to help you so that my death will not be in vain. Thank God for Randy. If this killer does come back and he's for real, there are a few things that you gotta remember. Is this simply another sequel? Well, if it is, <laughs> same rules apply. But here's a critical thing. If you find yourself dealing with an unexpected backstory and a preponderance of exposition, then the sequel rules do not apply. Because you are not dealing with a sequel. You are dealing with the concluding chapter of a trilogy. And for some of you, I'll see you soon. Because the rules say some of you ain't gonna make it. I didn't. Not if you're watching this tape. Oh damn, Randy had it all planned out. Maybe it's his sister. Do you want us to come with you? I work better alone. And why don't you try to figure out where those other pictures were taken? I can see nothing's changed. <laughs> Except for that goddamn hairstyle. Need to get in that building. Yeah. There's a story in that building. Maybe. Gail Weathers would find a way. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she's just like you. You should be so proud. Like, look how well she's, you know, performing. Hello? Can we keep her around for like the entire movie? I actually like the fake Gail Weathers. Hey, are, are you? No. Not Carrie but Fisher. You okay. look just... Like her? I've been hearing it all my life. It's uncanny. I was up for Princess Leia. I was this close. <laughs> so who gets it? The one who sleeps with George Lucas. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up a, a sore subject for you. Sure you didn't. They're looking for Marine Roberts. They're never gonna find her. Rena I would not have expected Carrie Will. Fisher to be in this movie. <laughs> Rena Reynolds. Stage name. You should talk, Judy Jurgenster. <laughs> Sydney, for the love of God, never be alone. I don't care who I, I would have pulled some random girl. I'd be like, you come with me now. Watch it actually be like, uh, not them. It's gonna be some girl doing some weird shit. Oh! Oh my god, Sydney Prescott! What the fuck were you doing? Maybe she's the killer? Since they sometimes have a female voice? Kind of sort of. What are you. No, that's too obvious. It's not her. I may never win another role, so these may be my only memories, you know, of Hollywood. <sighs> I know it's weird because it's your life and all, but I wanted to make you proud, Sydney. Okay, either that's she's being legit. I don't know. It can go either way. God damn it. I don't know. Maybe she's working with Patrick Dempsey. You know, there's always two. I don't know. Okay, now. Now the fucker's gonna co actually come out. Angelina. What the heck? That? The bathroom leads to that? Okay, what, what, she just like sprinted? <laughs> Is that how studios work? You literally have a bathroom that leads right into the fucking set? Oh God. Rest in peace, Tatum. Why you ever thought you were gonna fit through that? We don't know. Well, it occurred to me that I've never snuck through the bedroom. Wait, come on, the killer wouldn't know. That was she was gonna go there unless, like I said, what's her face is working with him. Just go out the window. Maybe not, because he's gonna be out the window now. Is there wind on a stage set? <gasps> oh lord. Oh, what the fuck? How do you do that? I'm not understanding how the killer knows where to be. No! Oh, don't no! Bam! Just Run down the fake street. Oh. Wait, okay, so there's gotta be two. Well, I don't know, because it's a stage set, so I mean, you might be able to just, I don't know. Oh, gosh. Yeah, see, this is the part I remember. <laughs> Barely. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Of 
course there's gotta be a bed there. Do it! You know what? I wouldn't even have fucking cared. I would have taken Dewey into the bathroom with me. Over here. Oh god, is this her fucking mom again? I lied, sweetie. Oh, we know, mom. We know. You don't deserve to be protected. Oh. You didn't protect me. Give mommy a kiss and we'll make up. No! Okay, she's losing it. I'm sorry, I had to see that. He was in there, Dewey. He was in there, I swear, I swear. No, I believe you. Oh, Dewey. I fucking love Dewey. What happened? Okay. Hey, there's nobody up here. Maybe it's the two cops working together. Not crazy. He was there in Woodsboro. That's not Woodsboro, Sydney. You know what I mean? He was Dick. there. He or she or whoever this is. So you knew Sydney Prescott's mother? Who? Rena Reynolds. You have made millions off the story of her murder. But when this, this is still ruining the movie, which I think he's connected to, so. I mean, murder's on your set and, and still you say nothing? Get real, that would make me a suspect. Just because you knew her? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. Just what did Because you already think he's a suspect. Me? I know what it's like to see ghosts that don't go away. Watching it alone. Okay, maybe he's not. I don't know. I'm torn. Until I found out I was wrong. She, um... Was a... Oh. Once again, why is this Sydney's fault? God damn, Mom. You really fucked... <laughs> Put her through the ringer. Where's your dad? What happened to the dad? Dewey, it's Sydney. Hey, Sid. I'm with Gail. We're on our way to see you. No, listen, I'm not at the station. John Milton called me and said he had something to tell me. Something about my mom. I'm going to meet him at his house. Wait, Sid. Nope, that's not Sydney. But I'd feel better if you were there. We're on our way, but still, sit. <laughs> Look at her, just like. <laughs> what? Looks like we're going to that party after all. No, god damn. I'll go with you, Roman. Here you go. You guys want to come? It'll be okay. Why is nobody on guard? Like, I'd be on extra high alert. And then he's. God. Ooh, Don't. Spooky. Don't go with him. I wouldn't go with them. Roman! So they're just chilling down there, just hoping someone's gonna walk down. Or she's gonna get it. Roman! And it's gonna be her. I don't just go get Dewey. It's so strange. It sure is. Yeah, because she. Dewey, do you have caller ID on your cell phone? Yeah. Right, use it and, and press send. Dewey's, Dewey's got, got her voices. God damn. I don't know how you could, is that, was that, was, is that a real thing back then? Take the gun. Go find Roman and Jennifer, I'm gonna get the others. How about you just start yelling? Just be like, peeps? This isn't a drill, get the fuck down here. Where's Angelina? I don't know. She went in here, I came in after, now she's gone. Great. What's wrong? Looks like Stab 3's back in production. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta word it like that? Ma'am, no. That would be like the last place I would check. I would call, and if nobody was responding, check everywhere else. Maybe then gather the rest, and then maybe investigate down there, but who am I? Roman? Yep, Roman in a coffin tandem bed. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Ah! Grab the knife too, might as well. I have a gun and a knife. So look, fake Gail knows what's up. She stays with somebody. Oh, wow, just gave him a punch. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> oh god, how many times has Dewey gotten cut and stabbed and... Oh, what? <laughs> Sorry, his commentary. No, nobody's gonna save Tyson. God damn. Oh. Come on, Gail. Prove your worth. For once. Uh, the fuck? This is like a sex dungeon? What the fuck is this? See, there is two. I knew there's fucking two. Oh no. Okay, so. You hear something? Yes, God. Get away from me! You scare me! Look, Gail. The mirror's moving. Damn it, she was my favorite character. 
after cotton, but. Tyson! No, just give up on him. You know. <gasps> You guys probably already know Kim Jong the black man didn't survive, so. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, that was fake. Thank God. Kill! He's like, shit, I knew. I knew. Do we? Oh. How do I know that this is you, Gail, not the killer? Do we open the fucking door? It's me! Don't you think that's what the killer would say? Come on. You don't know any personal information that he would, that nobody else would know. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, that might have been my favorite part. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, come on. Sydney needs to get in on the action here. You're dead. I don't want them. I want you. Why? <laughs> she just happens to be the daughter of a hoe. <laughs> Patrick Dempsey. You've been so happy, Sydney, to know we'd be together. Where? I'll call you when you're on your way. I'll call you when you're on your way. She ain't stupid. Use it. For what? Oh. Oh. Wow. Everywhere. <laughs> the other leg, too. Show it to me. Oh, it was a nice attempt, Sydney. What about her arm? He, she didn't. The one with the phone, she didn't do that. Um, do we? Oh! Sid. Where is he? I don't know. Okay. <gasps> He's right there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we? Think again. Oh, this is why I love Sydney. God damn. Okay, don't waste all the bullets. Because you need, there's going to be another. That's actually really smart, though. She had two there, so she pulled one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's definitely my favorite final girl. Where is he? Oh, yeah, bulletproof vest, because Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> okay, you would, like, rip that shit off. Tyson's dead. What's going on? What are you doing here, Kincaid? Looking for you. What if he just got shot, though? Could you be that okay? Even if you had a bulletproof vest on. Miss Prescott, I'm here to help. Put the gun down. Mm -mm. No. Well, I'd be like, you just came out where the killer was. So what the fuck, dude? You didn't see him? And then he just loops around. I don't. I don't know. I don't trust him. I really don't. Knows. I still think Angelina, is that Angelica? Maybe Angelica and Ange Angelina was like her half sister. I could see it. You were so close. Oh, God damn it, Mom. Stop it. <laughs> I'll be like, this is all your fault. <laughs> you might hold me one last time. See, that's not really her mom. That's. What's the matter? What are you staring at? Angelina. Wow, where do they know she's gonna go every time? What if she wouldn't have went down there? Maybe you never knew her at all, Sydney. Maybe you just can't get past the surface of things. See? Bullet Professor fucking knew it. And four years ago, I actually dragged her down. Knocked at her door thinking she'd welcome me with open arms, but she had a new life and a new name. Yeah, Angelina was her daughter. She shut me out in the cold forever. Her come own on, son. On. Ah! Damn it! Damn it, I thought Angelina was a half-sister. She really got around. Once again, why is that Sydney's fault? Why is that Sydney's fault? God damn it! But Billy's father? That was the key. I supplied the motivation. All the kid needed was a few pointers. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, take this. Get this son of a bitch. Oh damn, I'm s sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Oh um, no, not away your mother's innocence, huh? Mm. What he did to her made her a slut, didn't it? <laughs> it just erupted something in her. <laughs> That's 
not his fault. You hate him, Sid? Come on, I know you do. Not that I bad. Know you are. I know what happened to my mother, and I want you to understand. I'm gonna make you pay. That's what the police are gonna find in Milton's answering machine, right next to his lifeless, mutilated corpse. Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes. oh. Just throw it at him. Just throw it. They grab the lamp. Throw that. Three. Wow, look at that teamwork. Don't get back together though. And for the stardom and goddammit everything you have, there should have been mine! God, why don't you stop your whining and get on with it? I've heard this shit before! Stop! <laughs> she has. Oh, come on. Let's, let's hurry it along. She, isn't, she can definitely take a punch to the face. Oh, God. Because I felt like she did in the second one, too. Well, this definitely threw me for a loop. I will say that. Okay, this was this was a lot of punches to the face. I can't tell. Maybe he's still part. Because, like I said, the killer darted that way. He came that way. And then, like, so you never once crossed paths in that, like, ten seconds? Lose something. Found something. She have a bulletproof vest on? She had a bulletproof vest on. Sydney's like expert. This ain't her first rodeo. That didn't look like it was in her face. Okay. Yep. Bulletproof vest. You can't. You can't underestimate Sydney. You can't. Oh, <laughs> look at him taking it like a little bitch. <laughs> he wants to punch her and kick her in the face all day long. <laughs> then he screams. Mother's dead. There's nothing you can do about that. Okay, same thing to you. And then just drag it down. I feel like that would be kind of hard though. <laughs> Gotta go through the bones. Roman? It was Roman? Be like, this is my brother. Oh. Okay. Sorry I had to do this to your brother. But you brought it on yourself. The fact that Sydney had to be the one to tell him that. Even Gail should have been like, hey, I wish that her and Gail would have at the same time been like, head. <laughs> Since Gail was with her at the end of Scream 2. Well, Patrick, I am so sorry. I thought for sure you were the fucking killer. Really did. I thought maybe you hooked up with her way back in the day. <laughs> and then Angelina might have been your daughter. You know? Oh my god, Sydney's dad. <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> That's all I have to say. He's just, every time, you know, of significance, he is, he bounces. He's like, yeah, Sydney's got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw up now, guys. No. I don't condone this relationship whatsoever. What I'm asking is just to see if we're wrong. We don't know everything yet. You're a brave man, do we, Riley? Yeah, he is. Okay, how about you work out your fucking issues first? But whatever, whatever. What do I know? I wouldn't want to be married to Gail, but that's just me. <laughs> it, that's the wind. It's okay. She can walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. It's just gonna be free now. Okay, so at first I was a little hesitant because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this just because of the way the killer was set up and like how he was there at random times that he shouldn't have been. But now that it's Roman, it kind of does make slightly more sense. So like Candy's part because it was actually Roman that was meeting up with her. So obviously, okay, he would have known that yes, that she was meeting up with him. So okay, that actually definitely checks out. But yeah, so at first I was like, God damn it, like he's just right place, right time. So some of them still were like that, like how he knew, 
you know, with Sydney at the end that she's going to go to the secret bookcase. Like, she could have ran anywhere in that giant house and then, you know, he's just there. I thought for sure there was definitely going to be two. So that completely caught me off guard. Like I said, even though I saw this once years and years and years ago, I definitely don't remember any of it besides her having to fight him in the stage house. That's literally the only... And then, like, obviously as I'm watching it, still don't remember anything because, like I said, I'm guessing it's Angelina and Patrick and... <laughs> So, okay, so I am glad I wasn't able to figure it out. Like, in the second one, I was like, oh, like, I knew Jackie from Roseanne. I was like, as I was watching her, I was like, wait, I think she's a part of it. So, this was very refreshing. So, um, the next one, the fourth one, me and my sister saw it once, and that was when it came out. We saw it in theaters together, so I don't really remember any of that. The only part I remember is the girl in the garage scene, because she had high heels on, and she had to, like, try to sprint to her car. That's literally the only part I know in that. Oh, and Hayden Penitary. Okay, there was a scene with her. Okay, so I do remember that. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys when I remember stuff, but I still want to rewatch it because it has been a really long time, so there's definitely going to be a lot I don't remember. God damn it. I almost said Dwight. Um, Dewey and Gail? <laughs> no. No, I, I don't like them together at all. Dewey is just way too good for Gail. I know, like, D deep down she's actually a nice person but god damn it like every time I so I don't even remember what happens to them in the fourth one so do they start out broken up and then they gotta get okay if that's the case then guys give it up <laughs> but no this one was definitely enjoyable um but I do think it, it is the least favorite out of the three but I god damn it every time every time I'm giving my closing arguments like my hair is trying to get in my mouth so I think it goes first second third <laughs> but that the, the beginning of the the third one god I would have liked it if it wasn't gotten because I god gotten was my favorite oh we could have used him I just felt like he could have added so much fun to it but I mean it was a shock and so like I said then I realized oh shit I, I thought maybe she was gonna accidentally kill him because you know thinking that he was the one but anyways so yeah I will definitely be doing the rest of the franchise to get me ready for the newest one so uh, I still love these ones I really do these you can easily watch like again and again so <laughs> until next time guys bye <laughs>